Howdy, 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 everybody! This is Gomer the Ranting Thespian with a new Gomer Play series, Earthbound! Now, I decided on this one mainly because of the recent passing of Satoru Iwata, the president of Nintendo, and um, hearing about a lot of the things he had done over the years, because he started out as a programmer, then he moved up in the ranks, and, and long story short, became president of Nintendo, and under his watch, we got things like the Wii, the Wii U, the 3DS, and... and Basically pushing Nintendo toward to being just dedicated to, hey, you know what, we, we just want you motherfuckers to have fun, alright? We want everybody to have fun, so we're, we're going to cater to that, you know? So, um, but uh, I mentioned he was a programmer, and back when this particular game uh, was was uh, slated for the scrap heap or whatever because the coding was just such a mess, Iwata went in and just redid everything. He basically single-handedly saved this game. Now, I chose this game over, over some of the other ones he's done, like Balloon Fight, Kirby's Adventure, the Smash Brothers games. Uh, Kirby's Adventure I've already done. I don't have any plans of doing a redo of that one. Uh, and Balloon Fight, it would just be too short, honestly. <laughs> I may do it as like a one-off video or something, maybe like if I need to announce some things and I want something other than my face for the background. Uh, so, yeah. Um, also, uh, if you've noticed down at the bottom that these RPG-type episodes, they're going to run for about an hour each. Uh, just And that's mainly so we can get more done and cover more ground that way. Because uh, I feel doing like 20-30 minute RPG episodes, they're not enough for me. You know, I, I need at least an hour to really get into it. Um, I, yeah, I even got myself a little timer here so I can actually keep track. <laughs> oh, So yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and start a new game. I've played very little of this game, so this is mostly going to be blind. Um, please name him. I'm just going to go with the defaults, really. Uh, so we have Ness. Name her too. Uh, Paula. Uh, da -da 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 -da. U-L-A. As I was saying, um, I've played very little of this game. I uh, just never really got into it, but this is basically me saying, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I've heard great things about the Mother series in general. Um, so it's like, you know, getting into it wouldn't be such a bad idea. Um, check it out, you know. Uh, name your pet. Uh, I'm naming my pet Rocco. <laughs> uh, there you go. Favorite homemade food. Um, uh, I like the burger. Burger. Uh, burger, yay. Favorite thing. No, I am not putting dildo. I'm not putting porn either. <laughs> uh, those, those who actually know me personally, I'm, I'm a bit of a sex hound. But uh, not for this, not for this. Uh, favorite thing. Actually, I'm going to put in something that's more thematic. R-I-P-T. Script. There's a script? Uh, well, in this case, there is a script. <laughs> Are you sure? Sure, let's do this. Wow! So here we go. Earthbound! It's quiet. So, so quiet. Very quiet. The year is 1990X. The mid-90s. Oh dear. Hmm. <laughs> ah. This looks so different from the Smash Brothers incarnation. Yes, it does. One net. A small town in Eagle Land. Is it... It's supposed to be one net, right? That just... It, the pronunciation is so funny to me. It's like one at death. Blah, blah, blah. It's almost like I want to say Juanit or Juanita, you know? It, it's it's weird to me. And where is this? We're at Ness's house. Hey, Ness, how you doing? So, so this RPG starts off like all other big major RPGs. The hero's asleep. Because that's how Nintendo likes to start their shit off. I direct you to the Ocarina of Time, and boom. Although I don't think Ocarina of Time started with a, a, a quake of so, any sort. So I run around in my jammies. Um, go in here. Check it out. Now this is what I call a, um, in terms of a, uh, um, oh god, um, play control. I, I kind of call it a little bit of hybrid between um, Dragon Quest and typical formats. What I mean by that is you can hit the A button, bring up the menu, you can look to your goods or stats or whatever, you know, but if you hit the L button, 
Hey, bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Look at my hair. Do I look freaked out? But the L button works just like your talk to or check thing. Hey, cracked bat. Yay. I got a bat that is cracked. I'm going to go ahead and equip it. <laughs> Six offense. That's not bad for a 10-year-old. Or however old Ness is supposed to be. Is he supposed to be 10? I don't know. We'll go downstairs. And... Hi. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? Maybe. And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Oh, why not? I want to go check on my jammies. And yay! Ness in his iconic outfit. <laughs> Gonna go check it out. Check it out the meteor. Gonna go check the meteor. Bye bye Be careful. Come home as soon as you can. Sure, why not? Dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Um, because I'm gonna go check out the damn meteor. That's what I'm gonna do. So, I don't think I have to talk to everybody, but I'm going to at least this one time. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Well, let's see. One at police are famous for closing roads if something is going on. We're going for the world record. <laughs> is there an actual world record for the longest time a road has been closed? Don't panic, it's just a... What? Meteorite that... Who fell? I just want to, what? Go home. Okay, you're weird. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Uh, you're not moving, so it's not really a race or anything. Hey, how you doing? Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. Is Pokey a lawyer? He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Ooh la la. Okay. Um, yeah. Like I said, I've played very little, so I've played the begin this beginning part quite a bit. Don't you know what time it is? Tool time? Get your butt home, pronto. Uh, what about you? The meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Well, good for you. Have a donut. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Take this cracked bat. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Nope. Nope, you won't. Uh, I'm, I'm not black enough for you to chase me. <laughs> and suddenly every viewer is like, ooh. Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? Miller time? I don't know. Uh, I saw a present over here. Ness opened the present. There's a bread roll! Yay! I like how it says Ness takes it. Like, what do you expect to do? Hey, Ness. Hiya, buddy. Meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. Oh, really? Is there really... Is Are there that many people out here? I also want to tell you... Whoops! I almost told you about my... Uh, By the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? You're a billboard guy. Treasure Hunter. This is Lear X Egaret's house. I don't... I don't think... I don't understand the name significance, but okay. Ah. That meteorite looks different than usual. Strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Yeah, I can see it here. It's like, wow. I don't think meteorites are supposed to look that way. Um, shh, shh. Okay, whatever. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? What if I say I'm not? You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Eh, we can... Now let's go do the same thing and say yes. And you live in the house next to his. I see. Clear out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Out! Of way out! Get my... Whoops! My mistake. I mean, get out of my way! Hey, Ness, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cop's, oops, I mean officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. I'm bugging the officers. Look at you. You little shit stain. Ah, <sighs> bugging the officers. Fuck him. It's not much more I can do over there anyway. I, it's not like I can get past the barricade. But, oh well. Yeah. You know... 30 seconds of meeting him, I already don't like Pokey. 
and and just full disclosure, I do know like a lot of the story the story behind Pokey, um, what what he goes through and what happens to him at least at the very end. So you're not gonna spoil me on anything on that one. Um, welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Let's get off to bed now. Yeah, sure. Why not? Nothing else I can do. It's not like I can go up and look at the meteorite in person. Later that night. Whew. He will knock four times. Uh, okay, come on. Who the hell is knocking at this late hour? What the fuck? Someone's... Uh, someone's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing a bell. Someone's knocking at the door. He should be ringing the bell. Do me a favor. Open the door and kick his ass. Who could be at the door this time of night? Would you answer it? You are literally right here near the door. Really? Fine, whatever. I'll answer it. Hi. It's Pokey. Even the music couldn't be too enthusiastic for him. <laughs> Hey, uh, listen to what I have to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <clears throat> Fuck you, Pokey. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly. To deal with the sharks, you know, the sharks, the local ruffians. They were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blamed the cops. Certainly wasn't my fault at all. Uh, sure. That's what you get for leaving them home alone, asshole. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Fine. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Fuck you, Pokey. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take Rocco along. Crack Matt and Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. My very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Is there a way I can do that manually? Because that, that, that's just kind of a thing. I've already got the cracked bat, so I can just go on here. And Tracy will will be able to hold items. She'll give you a cookie. I got cookie! Yeah, she'll store shit for you. I don't need her to right now. So, yeah, the mother is just mother. Beep! And nothing there. Hi, do you want me to go with you? Sure. Yeah, take the dog. Always good to have an extra pair of, well, set of paws, I suppose. Alright, you go out in front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Yeah, safe distance. Uh-huh. Sure, Pokey. Hey, there's a phone call. Nobody gonna answer that? Ma, you're not gonna answer that? Fine. Uh, hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Woo! Do you have your ATM card? Yes, I do. Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. Well, what? Oh, the, the father of a hero, at least. Wahaha! <laughs> okay, then. So I can, I have money in my bank, got money in the bank, and the bank, and the money, money, and money, money. Oh, hey! Battles! This is how battles work in this game. I think it works this way in all Mother games, but you see them on the screen and you can walk up to them. If you walk up just front to them, you just get this here. Oh! Um, ow! You bit me! I, you beat, I, you bite, I bash. Pokey complained to Ness. Because Pokey's a little bit of a wuss. Come here. Ooh, nice. Yay. Doggy is brutal. So, yeah. That's how battles work. You walk up to in front of them. Now, if they get you from behind, they get the advantage and they attack first. And also works the other way around if you can. Um, I also read if you're high enough level and you run into a weak enemy... Then, oh wow. Pokey thought to himself. Pokey must have thought, man, I am a really cowardly motherfucking kid. Yay! Dogfight! 
By the way, do not do do not engage in dogfighting. In reality, that is illegal, and you're a horrible human being if you do so. Mm. But yeah, real life dogfighting, no. Dogfighting in, in the thing. Oh! Hey, Ness, so are you just gonna wander around wherever you please? Don't you think we should focus on getting picky home? Well, cops aren't that way, but you know what? You have Pokey. You know, the only reason I'm helping you is because I'm such a good guy. Ugh. I'm only helping you out of the goodness of my heart, Pokey. Sheesh. Hey. He's a puppy. Okay. Hmm. Okay, engage the runaway dog. Loud piercing howl. I'm sorry, puppy! <laughs> Ow. Yay! We took care of that dog. Four experience for... You get a four experience for a dog. Hey, what is this? Hey, you. The hell are you? Magic butterfly made Ness relax. Good. Um, what's my stats? Oh, didn't do anything. Okay. Not, not as far as that goes. I should, you know, maybe eat a bread roll. There we go. Hey, doggy. How you doing? Ah. Uh, so, okay. Runaway dog! Ow! 6 HP of damage. Eh. Eh, yeah, come on. There you go. Pokey played dead. Yeah, that's not gonna work. And what? This is one of those RPGs that has an auto fight function. I could just do this and I can explain shit to you, which I may do later. Notch. There you go. What? Huh. <sighs> Green. I don't know what that means. Oh, I surprised it. Okay, green means I surprised it. Pokey uses Ness as a shield. Pokey, you coward! Stop missing! Ow! Nom 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 nom. Okay, you know what? Auto fight. Fuck it. Is there a way I can get it off of auto fight if I have to, though? Uh -huh. There we go. Ow! Oh shit. Um. Phew! That was close. I don't know how to get it out of auto if I need to, though. Oh, hey, I got a cookie. A cookie from a spiteful crow. So, okay, the green means I get the advantage. And if I get a red one, that would mean that, yeah, I would kind of be life up. Oh, wow. Okay, good. Uh, that saves up on items for a little bit. Uh, da -dum, da -dum. Hi! Where did you come from? Well... Coil snake, sure. Yay, go doggy! Yes, I don't like snakes! Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Pokey. Pokey is the worst. Fucking coward, he doesn't even attack. IQ went up maximum- Ooh, yes! Nice! Got some levels, level levels. Alright, let's keep going. Hey, how you doing? I don't want to talk to you. Ah, there he is. Picky. Any other enemies I need to fight along the way? No? Okay. Good. Oh, if I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. I, okay. I, I'll, I'll be more lenient on the dog being a coward because, well, he's a dog. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Ha! <laughs> Pokey is a coward. You see, I, I have no problem making fun of Pokey being a coward because of how he plays himself up. Well, I'm glad that you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Ho 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 ho! So now Picky is with us. Yay! Do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? I think he does. I hear it too. Do you hear that? A bee. That is the weirdest sounding portal opening ever. A bee I am not. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gagas, the universe. Okay, I, I, I can't Shatner it the entire time. This is actually kind of serious. 
Gagas, the co Universal Cosmic Destroyer, sent all the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the Chosen Boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the Nightmare Rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. You barely know me. How the fuck you know my name? This I believe. Gagas's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. Oh, hell no, you're not. Sorry about that, folks. A uh, little bit of a glitch there, but that's okay. We can time it very, very, very well. Anyway, Gagas's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gagas. Gagas? Or is it Gagas or Gagas? I, I don't even know. Three things that are of the utmost importance, wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gyagas. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yeah. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Yay! What? Buzz Buzz now joins you. Good. Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said? Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? No, thankfully. Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Uh-huh, you talk a big game, but then it comes down to it. You just want to run home and sit in the corner, suck your thumb, and piss your pants, you know? Uh, you know, fuck you, po fuck you, Pokey. Fuck you. Just fuck you. Uh, you know, you know, I can, I can totally see him just turning around and just, hmm. Uh, you're gonna betray me later, I think, because you're that much of an asshole. Uh, whoop! Hello. Hi. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Yagis's plans, but. Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Is that a promise? Uh, Starman Jr. Okay. Whoop. PSI shield, yay! <laughs> so let's see. Picky actually attacks. Picky, oh, of course, Pokey acts all innocent. Yep. Fire beta, oof. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Ah! Ooh, wow! 101 damage? Pokey thought to himself, Wow, this is really horrible. Oof! Yay! Oh, nice! More Psy Shield, please! Three damage. Uh huh. It's just the boss music. This particular boss music, what the hell? <whistles> just an insect, holy shit. For just an insect, you're kicking a lot of ass. Whew, he's taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so he can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gyagas, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gyagas' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen! Okay, whatever. Let's get these boys home so I can get on the way. Come on. Uh, hello. Hi. Whoa. Where in Sam Hill are you boys been? I have to think of a suitable punishment. Ha ha. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. And they run away. Hmm. Well then. Did he just... By the way, I should be... I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Stinger! Stinger! I think it's a dung beetle! I'll smash your guts out! Uh -huh. No! My 
husband is very soft-hearted. Live in poverty. This is not poverty, dude. Ah, I was much weaker than I thought. I don't know. You took down that Starman Jr. pretty handily. So you must now begin your adventure. See, you... Um. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. Okay. To defeat Yagus, you must... You, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. I don't know. Um, the only way I can think of it... No. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near one net. It is called Giant Step. Let's remember that. Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Uh, yeah. All right. You're a very intelligent young man. And... Oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark. <laughs> Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the sound stone. You can record the melodies f from the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No. Good. It is already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ah! <gasps> Woo! Got an item. And he's gone. Because Smiley McSmile bitch there killed him. Thank you very much. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Sweet! Now we can officially start our adventure. We can go home real quick. Or... What the hell? Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles! Fuzzy pickles! Wow, what a great photograph! I'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Okay. Um, can we declare that a big-lipped alligator moment? Is that a good thing? You're back! Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some burger and scoot up to bed. Eat some burger. Because, of course, we can't pluralize anything. That's okay, though. <laughs> but, yeah, some burgers, some bed, and there you go. We're all rested up. Uh. Yee, I like the music. I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. I don't blame you. This is going to be a long one. And I believe you can call this dad. 72 in the bank. Uh, let's see. 11. Yeah, we can... Uh, create an adventure. Yes, we could do that. Yeah, so you call your dad to save the game, get the money, or at least let him know what the money, how much money is there. So, okay. Let's go into town. So from here on out, it's practically, you know, just new territory for me. Uh, coil, snake, auto fight. So, so yeah, we have to go find, what, what is it? Oh, damn. I've already, I've already forgot the damn name, but you know what? It'll, it'll come up. It'll come up and it'll come right out of me. Ow! Okay. So 15 HP. Ooh, yeah. You won! Hooray! One experience point from that. I don't know. Uh-oh. Hi! I like, kind of flashed right through him. If he'd, he engaged the spiteful crow. Hi, how you doing? Ow! Ooh! Boom! 15? That's good. Ow! Whoop! You won! <laughs> I got a cookie! Yay! I like those guys. They leave cookies. So what is this? One at public library. Use the library more. Um, okay. Let's go to the library. And check it out. Uh. Hi! Hi! Kids can borrow only maps at this library. Okay. Do you want to borrow one? Sure. Here's a map. One that is the only thing on the map. All the info is there except for the info that isn't there. I, uh, I, uh, uh, that, that would be... My general assumption that the info that isn't there would not be there, but, you know, who knows. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. 
You know, the X button located near the top. <laughs> yeah, we got a town map. Hey, so okay. So we, this is a map of one et. We can get food, shopping, hotel, food, two food places, a hospital. That goes down to Tucson. Uh, all right. Is there anything else we can do? Oh, hey, let's check it out. Um, hi. Cramming for the big test tomorrow. It's about games. Hotel rule. If you stay at a hotel, you wake up with full HP and PP. Life recovery rule. Recovering your life will give you full HP but zero PP. Hmm, but this stuff will be on the test. Huh. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So this is kind of serving as, I guess, a bit of a tutorial area. At Giant Step, that's the name of the place. There's a monster guarding that spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made Giant Step its territory. What if he's stronger than my wife? I don't know. Da -da 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 -da. A man of few words. It's useless talking to him now. That Jason Voorhees? Hi. Recently, I sensed the presence of UFOs flying around. Or am I just dreaming? Eh, probably not. I recently read a book titled Our Convenient, Our Convenient Society. It said that our modern society demands that there always be an ATM in hotels and drugstores. Something to note. Just knowing that is convenient. Glad I read the book. Can't believe I didn't know this stuff. Check whether or not we have an ATM in our drugstore. Probably. Da, 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 da. I read the book called Our Society is Convenient. It said that these days there are always telephones in hotels and drugstores. I also learned that to use a green payphone costs a dollar, while the black phones are free. If you weren't aware of this, all your money could get eaten up by your phone calls. Glad I, I'm glad I read that book. Good to know. So, okay. So whenever you win a battle, actually, you'll notice... Uh, wait. Yeah, there it is. You'll notice I have $20 on hand. And when I called when I called uh, father, he said I had like 78 in the bank. You never really keep cash on hand, which is kind of an interesting touch. Can't believe I saw it with my own eyes. I was staring out the window and there it was, just fluttering there. I'd only seen it in the encyclopedia before. What is it, a flying machine? What was it? A magic butterfly. If you get close to a magic butterfly, all your cares fly away, just like a fluttering butterfly. Yep, yep. That's the effect of the legendary magic butterfly. Ah, I saw that earlier. Love talking about it. Whoops. Sorry about the outburst. I got carried away with all the talk about lovely butterflies. Good. Good for you. Researching giant step. Located north and west of one end. So we gotta go to the northwest. Okay. Where it possesses a special power. So now we know where giant step is. It's to the northwest. Okay. Hi. The hell? That's random. Uh, no, I'm in here. Don't try to come in, especially if you don't need to use the bathroom. Don't talk to me. I, I'm thinking. Thinking. Bullshit. You're pooping. Because as we all know, girls never poop. Except when they do. Uh. Okay. What a cute yellow backpack. Oh, thank you. You know. Although I have to be mindful if a bear comes comes around wanting it. You know. Ness, I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? Uh, not right now. You're busy, I understand. Maybe later, though. Hi. I am not your enemy. I am simply your average run-of-the-mill mole. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? Sure. Listen carefully. Facing when a battle, if you let enemies approach you from your back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. They approach you this way, your TV screen... No, no. I mean the world in front of you will show a red squirrel for a second. <laughs> I love that. On the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack. In that case, your TV... Oops, again, the world in front of you shows a green swirl. Point is, try to fight so that you always have the advantage. And they have an enemy here. And eh, not quite, but that's okay. Okay, hi, how you doing? He has a big grin on his face. Good. Ow. There we go. Bye-bye. Uh, I got a cookie! Yay, cookie! Okay, so I wanted to try I guess that's why they have the enemies there. That's fine. Giant step north of the top of the mountain. Danger, do not enter. Uh, not yet. Okay, so it looks like I was starting to head there a little too early. So where am I? I am there. Okay. One at town. Yay! The arcade is full of sharks. Uh, uh, uh. I can't play there. Oh, okay. Burger shop. Woo! I like burgers. Hey, how you doing? Oh, may I take your order? Smile, smile. What can I get for you? Um, 
you know what? I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on that. Um, Cause they probably restore HP or PP or what have you, but um, what's this? Treat them both nice. Okay then, good. Uh, welcome beautiful one at the wild flower of Eagle Land. Hi, a girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out of their home. I can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paula's really special. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh well. Well, you're no help. But oh well. Mm. Do, 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 do. If one of your friends becomes unconscious, you should visit them at the hospital. You should check with the nurse receptionist and she will release your friend. It's a nice thing to remember, but it's alright if you forget. Okay, so hospitals are there to basically revive fallen allies. Okay. Pizza! Game. Hey. Do you want to meet Frank? You don't want to. You don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? Uh oh. Pogo Punk. Just missed. Oh. So I'm gonna fight this guy apparently. Yeah, he keeps missing and I keep hitting. I'm getting lucky. Oh shit. Um. Ooh, missed. Good. Oh, that was close. Oh my god! Boom! He became tame. Okay, I beat up a pogo punk. Sweet. No, dude. Oh, he left me a hamburger. I get a hamburger anyway. Ha 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 ha! Hypnosis. Ooh. Okay. So, where do we go? I know where we go. Okay, hotel is up there. Do 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 do. Okay, let's not play around with them until I have gained uh, until I've gained a couple more levels, huh? Do 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 do. There we go. The hotel. Hey, how you doing? Uh, let's call. Ex uh, 54 experience to get to the next level. Okay, record. Uh huh. Yay! Save the game. Always be saving. ABS. Thirty-five. I don't have that on me. Okay. Now ATMs are supposed to. Oh wait, just found it there. Herp derp. Go back. Okay. Yeah, slow start basically, but that's okay. Welcome to the automatic teller machine. Please select a transaction. Uh, withdrawal. Balance of one hundred four. Uh, let's take out a hundred. Yay! I have 120 in total. Yay! Okay, I need to find a place where I can get like some other gear. Any place I can find, any place here. Um. Hmm, what's in here? Nope, say something funny, I'll listen. Hmm, I can't wait any longer. I'm going back to watching the news, it's funnier than you. <laughs> Dun -dun -dun. Okay, pop quiz, Beatles song, yesterday. <laughs> Who are you talking to? No problem here. Okay. Uh, come here. This town is out of control. The wild boys are hanging out in the town. The cops have really been cracking down on everyone. I'm considering moving to Tucson. Tucson. A, s a town in the south. Okay, good for you. Who are you? No problem. Eh. Do, 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 do. Walk in the street. Walk in. Walking down the street. Oh, bow wow! Don't you think you'll be needing a weapon? Did you know the drugstore sells things you can use? I knew about it. Oh, thank you. Drugstore, let's go. I thought I saw a drugstore somewhere. Um, Was it up here? No problem, no. Shop, food, oh wait, here it is. I think it's, I think it's marked shop. Yeah, there it is. Ah, all right. So what do we have? Come in, come in! What can I do for you today? Can I help you find something? Let's see. T-ball bat. Ooh. Yo-yo. Oh! Baseball cap. Cheap bracelet. Wow! Baseball cap. Do you want to, like, equip it here? Sure. Oh, sweet! Okay. Baseball cap. That's good. Yo-yo! T-ball bat. Um... Ah, I'm debating which one I want to go with. 
Um, we'll go with Yo-Yo first. Sure. 13 to 15. Oh, hey, sweet. Um, bye. Let's see. Um, cheap bracelet. Ah, uh, no, not enough. Hey, how about you? Cold remedy. Um, uh, doesn't say what it does, though. I mean, I assume it would, you know, be good for colds, but... Hey, I know your hard-earned cash is important to you, but you should call your mom. She's probably got an ulcer from worrying about you. Okay. Uh, she'll be fine. Um, do 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 Alright, so let's see, our plan. We've got less than 20 minutes left in the episode. So, plan is, go to the hotel. Let's save up, let, not save up, but uh, rest up. Hello, Mr. Hotel. Hotel, because I can afford to stay now. 35 bucks, jeebus. Uh... Yeah, this is a nice hotel. 35 bucks. Honestly, it's not too shabby. Um, hi. If you look like you'd be a real target for the sharks, you better be careful. Okay, whatever. Uh, I, I, you know, I kind of took one of them out. Uh, let's call home. Is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh, yes, Tracy started working part-time for Escargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. Call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Oh, hey. So, Tracy worked time, part-time for S Cargo Express. What can I do for you? Okay, so you can leave items with her by phone. Okay, cool. Very cool. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Save the game. ABS, always be saving. Okay, come on. Record. In the hay, blah, 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 blah. You like to work hard, but I don't think it's work too good to work too hard. Well, come on, it's not even it's it's barely been forty minutes. You know, so it's not that bad. Ah Alright. So Giant's foot or whatever the fuck it is, we go up to the northwest. So we go up this way. You know, we almost went there before, but I like kinda wanted to <laughs> Here we are. Um not quite. Mm. Um, not not far enough of, of up yet. Music's kind of neat and catchy. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Okay. And north we go. Oh shit. We got some enemies. Oh, snap! Here we go! I already win. And this one, I think I can do the same thing. Yay! <laughs> Shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed is because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes and our hotels are too expensive. Ah, uh, so I gotta go to City Hall first. Okay. Let's see, do I have to fight him? Yes. Boom! Okay, I can just one-shot him. That's fine. I can just one-shot the fucker. Okay. So apparently, you gotta go find City Hall. Where's City Hall? Right there in the center. Okay. But apparently this ruffian named Frank... I've gotta fight the sharks, don't I? Ah, uh, so I'm gonna wait until after I got to took care of the first sanctuary location. Ah, uh, wait. I this takes. I've got to get used to the map. <laughs> hey, rumor has it the shark's boss is hanging out near Giant Step. Okay. Town hall. Hey guys, how you doing? You the mayor? There are lots of snakes and stray dogs around one at. Is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. Rabble, rabble. Yeah, hey, who are you? The mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I'm going to have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. Fuck you. I'm going to do it anyway. Hi, how you doing? 
Look at the sharks. Meteorite. Hey, are you the guy who's trying to reform the sharks? Whoa, whoa, whoa. you've got to be kidding. Scram. Well then, fine. I guess I'll just have to go beat up some sharks. Okay, fine. Anybody in here worth talking to? Let's see. Really foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think I'll just kick back for a while. It may just take a couple of hours to sign this paper. <clears throat> well, you're a dick. Aren't you Ness? Is it school holiday today? Have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been wetting your bed? What the hell? Have you been wetting your bed? Why would you ask a child that? Uh, you know, a child... Well, okay, a child that's not yours. Why would you ask that? We don't have any openings for part-time part -time employees at this time. I'm not looking. Some suspicious-looking kids are hanging out in the woods north of the library. What if they're members of the Sharks? To stop the spread of the gang, someone should shut down their gathering places. Don't you think? I started a movement that will stop all the bad influence on the children one that. Call it the Fresh Breeze Movement. Good for you. Giant ant at... Wow, a giant ant? <laughs> Wait, did ant mean to spoil it? Ah! Oh! Work for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Prickle bugs me. Let's keep this between you and me. I have a feeling he has a low, um, um, you know, a low approval rating. Just, just between you and me, I think that. Uh, and now to see if I can... Oh no. Oh shit. Now they're gonna start attacking me. Skate Punk and its cohort. Okay, this is new. Ow. Narrowly missed it. Ah! Oh shit. Just missed. Ah! 14 damage. Oh shit. Okay, come on. Shit, 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 shit. Ooh. Whew. That's close. Oh shit. Okay. Hypnosis to one enemy. You. Hypnosis A did not work. Ah! Just missed. Ooh, just. <laughs> Pogo Punk fell down, but he became tame. Yay! Good. Okay. 4 HP of damage. Eh, that's not so bad. Call for help. Oh no. Ah, uh, Yes Man Jr. And he's just sitting there laughing hysterically. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> okay, good for you. 40 experience. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of guys. Uh oh. Okay, I need a cookie. Who are you talking to? Okay, here we go. We got one. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, skate punk and cohort. Oh, no! Get the skate punk and... Oh, what the fuck? Are you just trying to... What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Come here. S skate punk. Ow. Oh no. Oh dear. Um Hamburger? No. No, I died. Yes, looks like you got your head handed to you. Well, thank you. So how about giving it another shot? Okay, we can return. Never got a game over on this. This is the first. Looks like you got your head handed to you. Way to be blunt, game. Okay. Okay, my equipment. Defense. Uh, okay. Yeah, goddamn. These guys are gonna be rough. What? Want to meet our boss, Frank? He's in the backyard of the game arcade, thinking about peace and love. You might want to visit him. Peace and love, oh shit. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I'm not gonna let you take me from behind. Yes Man Jr. Ow. Of 
14. Oh, shit. Oof, this is rough. No PP either? Yeah, <laughs> I went up a level. Okay, good. I leveled up, so that's a good sign. Bakery. What's in here? Uh, hey. hey. Hey, asshole, come here. Um, uh, cookie, bread roll, skip sandwich, lucky sand, lucky sandwich. Okay. <laughs> a sandwich that makes you lucky. All right. I just hope I am not. Oh, hey. Road to Tucson is closed. You can't just squeeze the roadblocks either. One of those famous for roadblocks. Ah. Uh, so I couldn't even go get an extra set of hands, even if I wanted to. Okay. Oof. Hey there, doggy. Boom. Really, I'm one-shotting this guy, these things, and, and you're still making me fight him. Manually. Ugh. Uh-oh. Hey, Mr. Spiteful Crow. Thought you could get me? Ah! You dodged? Fuck you. Okay, there we go. I got a cookie! Yay! Alright. Eh, don't need to go in there. There's nobody that's gonna be there. Okay, so the backyard of the arcade. So apparently that's where I need to be. Right in there. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah. ATM! 94, good. Alright. Alright, so I got some money. Let's go upgrade. I have a feeling that this yo-yo, while, while fun, probably is not as strong as the other item I saw there. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> he will not hit me and damage me. That's a good sign. What can I do? Um, T-ball bat. Um, cheap bracelet, T-ball bat. 15 to 17. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Buy the yo-yo. Buy that yo-yo. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's, let's. All right. Here's the idea. We're going to save up. We're going to do the thing. And I'll come right back when I'm ready to do the sharks. All right. Let's do this. Let's go after the sharks. Hopefully. Can we beat them in this episode? We'll find out. Okay, the sharks are over here at the arcade. So we gotta get by them, and we gotta get into the to the back. It's you! You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that. Bash! Boom! Ow! 24 down. Ooh, yeah! Two-shotting him. That's, I like that. I got a hamburger! Sweet! You left me a burger. Hey, how you doing? Hey, kid! You want to become a member? No. Don't be such a snob. You're gonna beat me up. Oh, the Yes Man Junior. Ouch! Well, there's a reason why you're called a junior, isn't it? <laughs> you missed me! <laughs> oh, there you go. Bye bye Uh, is he gonna be out of my way? Sweet! So this Frank guy is in the backyard. Hmm? I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? Boss battle! Really? Do 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 Oh yeah. Said something nasty. Oh! Is my guts went down by one. Wow. Holy shit. Fifteen, that's not bad. Okay. Brandished a knife, twenty-seven. Holy shit. Um, hamburger. No! Fuck you! Fuck you, Frank. No! Looks like you got your head handed to you. Yeah, 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 shut up. Okay, meet you back at Frank. Alright, we're back. Frank, you're gonna get your ass kicked. I've leveled up at least once. Hopefully it's enough. 
And bash. Ah, 30? Really? I'm gonna need a hamburger right away. Uh huh. Oh. Ooh, thank you, Nat. Oh, yes! Finally! I got lucky! Yay! You are done, sir. Failproof Frank can't be beaten. This is Frankenstein Mark II. Oh, shit. Um. Did not expect this. Alright. Don't even give me a. Ch oh, shit. Oh, ouch! Hey! Now, oh, really? Stop dodging. Punch. Ow. Okay, at the very least... Holy shit! What?! Oh, nice. Okay. I have 207. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're, we're close to end. Uh, and I really wanted to end this on um, kicking Frank's ass. But, um... Eh, we'll take 40 and I'll just rest up here at the hotel. Whoop! Okay. Ah. Damn. This far in, I haven't even been able to beat the first boss. Although, honestly, I did not expect a, a dual boss like that. Um, that's what I guess that's what I get for going blind. Um, so I'm going to call it here for this week. Uh, these will go up weekly um, along with other ones. Um, weekly, especially since these run an hour long. So, you know, <laughs> give it a little extra time. And that's not counting, like, cutting out for anything else either, so... So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying it. It's been a while since I've done an RPG like this, so I hope it's doing well enough for you guys. Uh, that it's enjoyable and everything. Um, I admit an hour might be a little long, and we can adjust that as time goes on. But, um, as I said at the beginning, hour tends to be the time where, you know, I, I feel I can get the most done. Although I don't feel like I've gotten too awful far. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Um... So uh, if you like this, you know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you know, all the usual stuff. Or if you want to help a little bit more directly, uh, you head over to patreon.com slash gomer to one double X. One dollar per production will get you things such as early access to all these videos that I do. And these Let's Play videos, I tend to upload them in batches. So you get more than one whenever it, uh, they happen to go up. So it's, that's, I think that's a really good deal for just one dollar. <laughs> um... And, and, of course, I do also want to make mention of my $50 milestone on my Patreon. We hit that, and we managed to keep it consistent. Then you won't see any ads on these videos, at least not from me. If, they would, if any ads go on these videos, then it would be from, like, Nintendo or from someone else or what have you. Um, so I would personally take ads off the videos, you know, that, that I have control over. Um, so, yeah, just, just a little note. If we, may, if we reach that, then there will be no more ads because I won't need them. <laughs> Oh, so and, and also I know she hasn't been I know she's not doing the title cards for this series because it's retro game and that's my area But I do want to uh, note my girlfriend and title card artist Becky Hopkins check her out at pe at uh, patreon.com slash Becky hop and She does a wonderful web comic called otherworldly link will be down below go check it out. It is awesome It updates uh, Monday Wednesday and Friday and it's 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 it's, um, it's well quite literally quite magical <laughs> Go and, go and check that out. Give her give her some money, too. You get some nice artwork and some animation. Did I mention she's an award-winning animator? <laughs> okay, I've rambled on long enough. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.